Yeah, so GDC pro tips. Uh, I'm going to talk about what you should expect at GDC when you're actually there. Did that? No, that didn't go the right way. Oh my god. <laughs> There we go. Oh my god. <laughs> so, um, who am I and why do you care? Um, I'm gonna be like messing with this. Jesus, can I get like a help? Can you like help me? <laughs> or not, you run the computer. Um, so I am Chris. Uh, hello, all my new friends. What's up? Oh, the mic. Oh, jeez. Just talk loud. The mic. Yeah, anyway, all right. So I'm a sound designer over at Phosphor Games. Um, I, I don't know, I do stuff. Um, that involves noises. Um, I've shipped a few titles and I graduated from Columbia, so this is kind of weird coming back here, um, which is cool, I guess. Um, yeah, so yeah, also thanks Igda and yeah, that's my, that's oh, whatever. And Heather and Allie and all you are wonderful. Um, this is, uh, yeah, I am a five time hey, GDC like champion who has, yeah, this is my sixth year, I guess. I've Kind of like weirdly fallen into like volunteering for the conference there is like the CA program and stuff and so I'm kind of qualified to talk about it in like a really broad way um, which is cool because um, GDC is like super overwhelming if probably for some of you maybe um, yeah so cool um, slide yeah there we go okay I got this yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, before the conference, there's some cool things you can do to prepare to help yourself, you know, do stuff. Um, yeah. So go to meetups. That's the first thing um, because those are important. This is a meetup, by the way. Um, this is like cool because you know, hey, um, you all know a sound designer now because that's how meetups work. You get to meet people and learn stuff. Um, yeah, especially if you're like still in school and looking for your first gig. Most of you are all students, right? Who's actually, who's not a student? <laughs> not a student? All right, well, I don't, know. I don't know. Okay, so like most of you are students and you're probably not working yet. So um, this is like a good way for folks to like get to know one another, like Ross over there and Chris and Aiden. And like, yeah, so like you, you meet people who go to these meetups and then you like, that's how you get gigs to like move around. Um, yeah, meetups also happen all the time, not just before GDC. Um, if you don't, if you don't have like a meetup that you can go to, like there's tons of them, by the way. Um, like I don't know, like these are things, and like Bitbash is a thing, and like I don't know, I wrote some other stuff. Uh, the industry night is totally a thing, um, or just make one. You know, you can do that. Um, audio folks, there's one next week. Uh, business cards are really cool. Like sell yourself. That's what promo is for. So do that. Have business cards. Has rev have resumes. Um, I'm personally not like too stoked on just like <laughs> I don't know like uh, passing out business cards to whoever. Um, last dude was talking about that. Like don't just like you know shotgun them to people. <laughs> nobody nobody cares. Get to know someone before you give them away. Um, that's totally a thing. Um, yeah, don't, yeah, that's, that's, that's a thing. Uh, make sure your resume, your reel's up to date. Nobody cares if your work is like three years out of date. Do that. Um, and yeah, new number three is wear comfortable shoes. That's probably the most important thing you can learn about GDC. Like wear comfortable shoes because like they like hire people who like organize music festivals. Everything you want to see is as far away from everything else as it can be. So like, don't don't skimp on that. <laughs> Super important. Uh, it's the thing, I guess. Um, yeah, this is the big thing. Um, be prepared. Um, it's also like not like a super huge life or death thing. Have fun. It's like a really cool event because everyone there is like doing game design and likes it and likes talking about games. So you know, be inspired and don't. That's that's cliche, cheese. Um, <laughs> that's cliche, but it's true. Like that's like super Oops, cool. Yeah, cliche. whatever. It's cool. It's good. I'm not manning the computer here. This is all Allie's doing. I'm ruining everything. It's cool. <laughs> um, okay, so when you actually get there, there's like other things. You know, go to your like presentations and stuff. That's really cool, and learn a bunch of stuff. Um, you're gonna have a little bit of different access depending on what you get. Um, they used to have like student passes. They don't do that anymore because. Students were, what's up? 
Well, money, yeah, it was like students don't pay much, they don't have money, and like also like, it was also, it's a thing where like students got super annoying because they were like shotgunning business cards at people. Stop doing that. <laughs> Stop doing that. It's not anything. Um, yeah, uh, when you're at these like presentations and stuff, you know, ask thoughtful questions. Don't ask things that you can just throw into Google. Um, don't ask things that are like, you just kind of explaining that you know as much as the speaker. This happens so much. Yes, I've been, does. I've been to the GDCs and people are like asking questions just to prove that they know something. Don't do that. Nobody's impressed. Not cool. Anyway, um, yeah. So also, there's another one. Oops. Expect to get to know the experts in your field. Um, there, you know, my first time at GDC, I kind of realized that all like the audio professionals were like super clicky, and like I was really offended by that and really like taken aback, but. Also, like, that's kind of a thing that has to be done. Um, you know, you can, I don't know, what was I saying here? I got to look at my notes, okay? Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up. They're like, they're like part of a clique because the industry is super small and everyone knows each other and everyone like loves each other. And that's kind of a thing. I'm talking with my hands. Jeez. Um, <laughs> it will take you a few years to like cultivate friendships with these people and like break into that clique. And that's totally cool and super like expected because you don't just like trust this new person to like you know when when i when i have excess work right like i'll like i know who i can turn to like i have all these like game audio people like like ali here or like Dak in the back doing his thing <laughs> hey like i know who i can turn to right so like that's part of that click right um so get to know them, and if it takes a few years to cultivate those friendships and like kind of reap like the benefit of that, that's cool. Don't be defeated by it. Um, also, get to know the people who are not in your field because those are the people who are looking for you. Because like fifty sound designers can't make a game, and like fifty narrative designers will never like make anything that looks nice. Right. So like you know, hey, it is what it is. Someone at GDC is looking for you, and don't shove your real. Whoa, <laughs> it's kind of like a weird rom com, actually. But um, like, just don't shove your real in people's face who don't ask for it. It's weird. Don't like like the same thing with the business cards. Don't just shotgun it. Nobody get to know people first, right? Um, and then there's this one other thing, which is the parties. This gets its whole slide because they're annoying, and I agree that they're like way oversold. Um, <laughs> they're a little bit overrated. Um, you know, most of you, I'm assuming, are under twenty-one, maybe around. Who's going to GDC? Over twenty-one, under one, twenty-one. Under, which are under, which? On, <laughs> yeah, don't drink, okay? Don't drink at these parties. Nothing is more embarrassing than watching someone get thrown out. Everyone will remember you. That's stupid. There are like fire marshals. Yeah, don't don't do that. Um, <laughs> wait, this is point two actually. But anyway, it's the same thing. No, it's cool. <laughs> don't don't drink. Like nothing is more embarrassing than getting thrown out of a party because like the fire marshals or the cops who are there, like noticed you like stealing like a shitty beer. Um, yeah, so, you know, parties are generally not my thing because they're like a bunch of nerds with really mediocre social skills. I avoid them personally, but um, yeah, so don't get drunk. That's a thing. Um, everyone knows everyone. And it, yeah, if you like make an ass of yourself, it's going to be really difficult the next morning to like look at these people and be like, hey, I'm sober now. That's not how it works. Um, yeah, don't expect too much from these parties because... A lot of times they're really just parties. The rare exception is like a networking thing. Like I know, like, like, um, like recruitment parties and stuff. Like those are that uh, I was gonna get to that. I was gonna get to that. I'm stealing my thunder here. But um, <laughs> like there, there are some that are like really valuable. Like the IGDA one, which is on Wednesdays, I think usually or something. I don't know. Anyway, point is, look for that one. That's a good one. But like the recruitment parties are kind of cool. Sometimes you'll like really connect with a recruiter. That's cool. Um, a lot of times they're just really loud and like people also like people who aren't you will get drunk and they'll say things that make you think like, oh man, I've got this job thing that's really cool. And they were just trying to look important because people do that. So yeah, that's also a thing. Networking parties are probably the only parties that are worth your actual time. 
and then yeah also like you know whatever if you've got extra room in your suitcase the blizzard party it's a recruitment party but like hey it gives swag so that's cool um just come out with it being like you know going to it's just a party enjoy yourself have a good time like no one dresses nice by the way i don't I've seen people like call up for the party. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that no, means. I feel you're going to be underdressed. You won't be. Here. Careful. <laughs> <laughs> Careful. There have been problems That's with that. a challenge. Um, anyway, yeah. So, like, you know, just go out with your friends. You will make friends, bond over whatever, and then, yeah. Here we go. Uh, top three things to avoid. Um, I personally have never gotten much out of the uh, the career center, actually. Yeah, it's kind of hard to like tell that to students, but I like wanted to say that because I really have never, I've really never gotten anything out of it. Um, I did it my first and second year, and basically it was like stand in line, hand your resume, you get your 10 seconds, and then you really, whatever. My, my time ended up being way more valuable, like, meeting people and learning and like going to the round tables and like making connections and yeah that's actually weird anecdote i've never actually gotten hired off of my resume it's just basically been people i know and like like show them my reel and they know that i'm like good at what i do and that's it so that's a thing uh, your mileage may vary some people do get hired off of it um, yeah, also don't overspend your budget. Make a damn budget. <laughs> GDC is so expensive. Um, you know, make sure that you aren't like, make sure that you're accounting for all those like Ubers at surge hours and like your flight and your hotel. And like, you'll probably go out to eat like six nights of the five nights you're there. Um, so like, yeah, and you know, make sure you have some emergency money put away too, because like accidents happen, things happen and, uh, yeah, so just be aware of how much money it costs to go to GTC. Um, that's a thing. And then uh, avoid the con plague. Everyone gets sick after GDC every year. I don't know why it keeps happening. You'd think that people would develop like immunity things, but um, yeah. Oh, that, oh, yeah. How did I skip that? Gee, we're going to back up in a moment here. I'm going to finish this thought. Um, bring, like, emergency. Bring, like, like whatever those, like, stupid cost drops, hand sanitizer. Um, don't get, don't go overboard at the parties if you're feeling sick. Like, like nobody wants to feel like a zombie and it's only, like, Tuesday. Just don't. <laughs> um, and pace yourself through the week. Uh, if you get vault access, you really don't have to be at every single talk. Like, you don't have to run around to do that. Um, but yeah, this is also a really important thing with your budget and stuff. Those Ubers that I mentioned are actually kind of important because, like, the Moscone Center is, like, right next to the Tenderloin, which is kind of a really sketchy area. Um, it's more or less safe in the day, but, like, without fail, I've been to I've been volunteering for this will be my fifth year and without fail like pretty much every year someone has gotten mugged out of our group so like that is important don't walk around in unsafe areas at night by yourself I'm not trying to scare anyone here especially because we're in Chicago and like like this is like a city like you know how it is but like yeah take like an uber back and forth if it's super late if it's like 3 a.m. and you're walking out of a bar that you've never been to before and you're like hotel is like three miles away like just take an uber well, bucks is worth it, promise. Um, oh yeah, and you can mitigate that risk of getting mugged by not carrying your badge with you because people see that and they know that these people just paid $2,000 to go to a show, you know? So that's a thing. Um, yeah, anyway, nice save, by the way. Um, <laughs> top three things to take advantage of, the round table discussions. I'm gonna harp on that because it is incredible in terms of learning experience. Um, those are not recorded. You can't get them on the vault, you can't go back to them later, and they're not recorded for good reason, and it's because it lets people say what's actually on their mind, and they don't have to like answer for whatever they say later. So don't bring your stupid recorders in there, because people stop talking. Um, take a pen and paper and you know get some cool insight. Um, also, there are a ton of extracurricular meetups. That's really super important. I can't speak to all of the industry. I don't know everything else, but I know that game audio does like 
They have like this like podcast that they do like at some absurd hour in a coffee shop. It's like 7 a.m. God, don't coffee. even say it out loud. <laughs> like I show up a. like an hour and a half late. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. But they do like the podcast at like 7 a.m. And then like Carousel Con is like a thing now where like they'll have people like Only around. audio. Yeah, that's <laughs> audio related. But like that's a thing where people go and like give like 10 minute micro talks shorter than this somehow. Um, there's like the Thursday night dinner that they do and like whatever. There's also more general stuff like Lost Levels, which is really cool. If you get the chance, go to that. Check that out. Google it. It's a thing. Um, yeah, just look for it. There's stuff out there. If you can't afford a GDC badge, there are penny, plenty of people who just like don't buy a badge and go to GDC anyway. And that's, uh, that's free DC <laughs> is what that is. <laughs> it's, it's a thing and it's cool because you still get to go and meet the people that you're there for, right? You're still networking and that's like the big thing for me at least. Um, yeah, just enjoy it. Like, it's really cool. Um, there will be this, oh, like, crepes. crepe thing. Like, the line is, like, two blocks long. It's actually kind of worth it. Um, they're also really that expensive. But, like, just go and, like, enjoy the time. It's not, like, like this is not, like, life or death. Like, you come out with a job, that's cool. If you don't, like, you probably learned stuff and had a good time. So that's cool, too. Um, yeah, yeah, that's pretty much where I'm at. Um, I didn't time it. I didn't know what to no, say. No, you're actually really good on time. Uh, Sick. All right. Yeah, you got just about 10 minutes for QA. So, yeah, uh, QA, I guess, if we want to...